Another prophecy that's in play by way of the aforementioned UN developments is 1 Thessalonians 5.3. Really, the first few verses of chapter 5, where Paul basically to the Thessalonian church says, I don't need to write you about times and, and dates, because you already know. So in verse 3 he says something very interesting and very specific. He says, while they are saying, peace and security. Now, in some of your translations it, it renders it peace and safety. It's the same Greek word asphalia, which can be translated security or safety. But peace and security, while they are saying those two words, destruction will come on them suddenly as labor pains on a pregnant woman and they will not escape. Now why is this prophecy in play? Because if you're anything like me, you probably as well lost count of how many times those exact two words were said. They were said in the speeches prior, they were said in the speeches at the time, and those are the exact same two words that are spoken today. And it's always in the context of said two-state solution with Jews and Palestinians living side by side in peace and security. I've been studying Bible prophecy and teaching it for almost 30 years. And I have audio files dating back to the 90s, seems like a long time ago now, when Netanyahu was the prime minister the first time and the president was Clinton. And they're in a press conference and peace and security, peace and security, peace and security. 1995, peace and security, peace and security, peace and security while they are saying it. And interesting, this analogy of and comparison to a woman in labor, birth pains which come with greater frequency and greater intensity, it's likened unto that as a woman travailing in labor. And this of course is the Olivet Discourse in Matthew 24, which we're going to talk about as well in just a little bit here.